You can call someone a goat if they're still playing. Tom Brady is the goat. Yo, Brady. <laughs> My dog. Wait, so you have a problem with Vince calling Tom Brady a goat because he's still no, playing? No, it's the opposite. He won't call him the goat. Oh, because he's still playing. Well, you got to let him finish his career. <laughs> he's just delaying the inevitable. What is it? Same guy who still owes me a $20 bet that Chad Henney would be in the Hall of Fame. Really breaking the ice before the camera turns on. As long as we're recording. Bang, bang. Anyway, yeah, I want my 20 bucks. You still haven't got it? No. There's a chance Chad Henney could turn it around still, I guess. Uh, Where did he go? Uh, Kansas City? I guess. I guess. And that concludes our Chad Henney talk. Yeah, that's enough. It's enough, Chad Henney. Chad Henney. Same school as Tom Brady, though. Really? Interesting. Michigan. Hmm. He was actually a lot more successful, too. Shows that goes to show you that college isn't an accurate, is not an accurate indicator of NFL is not, success. Is not. Not at all. All right, ready, boys? Swing and a miss. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Pa- oh, shit. Okay. Wait. Wait. All right. Wait. Wait. Mike, you always try and wait. We don't wait. There's no tight stuff here except for this. Yeah, that's all it fucking needs because you know what? It's not the AFC South. On all of the episodes, we have something tight. It's not the AFC South. Thankfully. All right, go ahead. It's actually a good division this year. Don't don't eh. test don't test AFC South. Bet. You can't judge a division off what it's going to do this year after last year. You're right. You can't. But you can predict. Yeah. And by me predicting, I think the AFC South is going to be a good division. Eh. Not a laughing stock. We'll see. We'll see what uh Houston's got cooking. Yeah. If you judged a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it wouldn't get far. See, but I would have to see it happen first. That's an Albert Einstein quote. Yeah, well, I'm just saying. Did he say pigs can fly too? No. 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 Where's Albert? He's not behind us. Yes, he's right there. Oh. Hey, he's Al. always there. All right. Okay. So... Before I started off, because the NFL schedules just came out, I have. You guys are excited about your schedule, the Titans. Three primetime games, well, including a Thursday night. Yeah, I can't complain. Great. I we play it. you this year. We do. In Lambeau. So mm. I'll ask the question that everybody's thinking mm. Am I going? No. Oh. <laughs> Who's going to finish? With more touchdowns thrown that game. Aaron Rodgers or Ryan Tannehill? Wait, wait. Can I pause that question? Yeah, are we sure Ryan Tannehill is going to be exactly. the quarterback? Exactly. Don't who, say Brock Osweiler. Had, no, it could be Baker. Baker Mayfield. I mean, who knows who's starting for you guys? Show some respect. Listen, I, I showed some respect by not saying Brock Osweiler, so... I do remember that. last time the Dolphins came to Lambeau, it was an overtime game, and you guys beat us. Yeah, that was against, against with Chad Henney. Just another game. Just that another was against, Sunday. Against Aaron Rodgers, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Just another game. Just another game. Any given Sunday. The last time we played the Dolphins, Aaron Rodgers had that fake Marino S spike in Miami. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. I can't believe we brought up Chad Henney twice today. One day. That's three. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody, to Fat Statters, episode eight. Today, we're going to be talking about the NFC North, Chase's favorite team. The Green Bay Cheeseheads. Chase, welcome to the show. Gentlemen, thank you for having me. 
And then, as always, we got Mike Papa. Yo, what's up? And Bobby. Today's April 19th, and let's just dive right in. Shall we? We shall. So, we're going to go over the QB rankings for the 2017 season, what just passed. Now, some of these quarterbacks aren't uh, on their team from the NFC North, like the, the gentleman we're going to be talking about first. But we're going to go through their grades, and we'll say some, some interesting, some fat stats. We'll talk about what the 2018 season might look like, uh, and then we'll have our regular playoff predictions. Um, before that, though, I forgot to mention this podcast is brought to you by Fat Stats. We, enterti- we entertain and analyze the game of football, uh, and we try and do it in the most entertaining way possible. So I said entertain twice. Um, you could find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and medium.com for any readers out there. Our handle is at fat underscore team stats. You guys don't have a Snapchat? Here's the thing. You have to put in a phone number for Snapchat. So it was either my personal one or fat stats. And so I actually tricked it and I did both, but now I can't get into either of the accounts. (laughs) All right. We're getting there. We'll get there. Yeah. All right. Let's start with our first quarterback, Mike. All right. So Case Keenum, all right, left the Minnesota Vikings and went to the Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos. Thank you. Now, Case Keenum to me was a complete surprise this year, as to I assume most people. But he got a 82.5 grade, fat grade for us, which was fifth best in the NFL. And he was in the conversation for MVP the entire year. Well, for the. For the most part. What, you shake your head, no? He should be. I didn't hear that. You didn't hear he that? He should have been, and he, and he was. Not to me. He wasn't in the conversation at he all? He was never a serious threat. It but was he was in the com- Todd Gurley or Tom Brady. Yeah, towards the end. I mean, well, okay, maybe not towards the end, but for the most part, yeah. But he was still in the, you know, in the running for a while. Not a serious threat. He was most definitely the MVP of the NFC North. Yes. Is that fair? He was. You know, you want to put an asterisk because the, your boy the wasn't Vikings there. I defense, but I can understand where you're coming from. Are you, dis- are you discrediting Case Keenum's play? He was fine. He was fine. Okay. I think there's a reason they didn't value in signing him, but we'll see. Okay. Well, he had an 82.5 grade, which was fifth best in our fat stats grades. Uh, accuracy wise, he was actually second best in the NFL behind the bad man, Drew, Drew Brees, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. He had a 68.5%. So he's very accurate with the ball and he was, his consistency was 47%, which is 12th best in the league. And remind him what consistency is, Bob. Yep. So consistency is a measure that we, that we take. It's actually for statistics people out there. It's called the coefficient of variation. So we're not making this up here. But what we're doing is we're looking at his average grade throughout the year. And then we're saying every week we're going to take his grade that occurred each of those weeks. And we're going to see how close it is to his average. Meaning, how volatile is his game every single week? So the the closer to zero this score is, the more consistent the quarterback is. And where did he finish? He was 12th, 47%. So, you know, above average. Is that counting playoffs? No, no, no. Regular season. So I will say this about Case Keenum. Uh, I was very surprised. I said it before. I was very surprised the way he played. I don't expect it to continue in Denver. Uh, I think he's definitely have a not as good of a year. Um, He'll be a decent quarterback for them. Um, But I mean, he's definitely not their future. I don't know how how old is he. You know, he's about thirty. About thirty. Okay. Yeah. My favorite part about Case Keenum is that when John Elway introduced him, he didn't even know his name. <laughs> he goes, we've got a great new quarterback, Case Keesum. So wow. those yeah. are my thoughts about Case Keenum. A career journeyman, and he's a backup. He had one good year, but... Who knows if that was the, the Vikings the system. Viking. Right. Listen, I, I, I'll agree, like that you say, any given Sunday... It's at any given season for this quarterback. I mean, he just this was was one real good season for him. I don't expect it to continue. I think, however, 
Is it just because he had a bad season with the Rams, so did Jared Goff. You know, there is a common denominator for Mikey's the Rams. boy. Who is he? Jeff Fisher. The quarterback killer? I have no I comment. That's what they call uh, him. He's not really a quarterback killer. The NFL's all-time losing his coach. That's well, he's not the QB whisperer. He's not a killer. Well, he might be a killer now, but he wasn't. Mm. Rip Air McNair. Co-MVP with Peyton Manning in 2003. Right. That was not Jeff Fisher's doing. No way. Well, I mean, it was it was McNair's play, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the So, just to go off that, Case Keenum... Uh, I really, we don't really have to talk too much about it because, again, the Rams were just god awful two years ago when Case Keenum, and Jared Goff played. But Case Keenum's improvement, the way he moved the ball. I mean, he wasn't throwing downfield a lot, right? He was playing it safe, but that's what they, the backup came in, and he still had showed a lot of grit and showed a lot of poise. And I think he'll lead the 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 Broncos to. I mean, they'll go like eight and eight. I. I I definitely think he'll be an improvement for on Trevor Simeon and good for you, man. God, God yeah. knows their bust of a pit pick uh, Paxton Lynch. Good for Sanders and Thomas. I agree. Yeah. I agree. It definitely be an improvement. That was a swing and miss by Elway. Now the, the, like you were talking about their defense, their talent on the Vikings is much more vast. Well, yeah, it's a little hate hatred over there, but their, their, their talent is, I'll is never forgive much you, Anthony so Barr. They did lose. So the Vikings, they lost uh, Case Keenum, uh, Bridgewater, Teddy B, and Sam Bradford. Three quarterbacks. Surprisingly, all three quarterbacks who could possibly start. You lose all three, and you gain Kirk Cousins. Not upgrade. bad. Upgrade. Let yeah. me upgrade ya. Yeah. I, I, Bobby I, doesn't think so. See, I just feel like they... I like Kirk Cousins as a quarterback. I feel like you know they're going to do good with Kirk Cousins. But if you could pay less to a diff- one of these other quarterbacks and then improve your roster around them, I mean, you were so close with Case Keenum. Well, that's a good point. Let's talk about Kirk Cousins' contract. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Three years, eighty-four million guaranteed. Some some crazy like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Whatever it is, it's all guaranteed. Right. Eighty-four million, eighty-two yeah. million, eighty-one. That's it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's that's how it is now, though. Yeah, but he's twenty nine years old. I mean, he'll be he'll be their starter if he pans out. He was he's great. He's, he's a great gonna be quarterback. Their starter for three years, no matter what. Yeah, but they he'll be there. Has to be. Yeah, yeah, but he'll be there. I'm I'm picturing him being there for the next like five years. I see it. Yeah. More, you know, I I just think that in that system again, I think because of that system, they can turn any QB into Cinderella, right? And I so I think Kirk Cousins coming from. Just the Redskins offense was never that great. Yeah. And I think they under, you know, he, he was chucking the ball a lot. Last year, he didn't do as well. I f- he finished 12th or 13th for us in, in fat stats uh, last year. But he is definitely an improvement. I like Sam Bradford a lot. But uh, Kirk Cousins can stay healthy. And he, he, I'll, I'll definitely he's got be weapons. Inter- yeah, I'll definitely be interested to see how he does with uh, those two receivers and if Dalvin Cook. Mm-hmm. Your boy comes if back what? strong. He'll come back I'm strong. I'm excited for him. Good. One last thing before we move on. Uh, I do think Kirk Cousins will take them to the next step, which is what they want now. They're in win-now mode. Uh, I think for the future, they probably would have been better off because of the contract and, and sticking with one of these other quarterbacks for the future. Well, but Vegas, they're in win-now mode. So. Vegas has them, I think, as like the third favorite for the Super Bowl. I mean, I could see it. Find mm-hmm. Eagles and Patriots. So mm-hmm. I could see it. We'll see. All right, our second quarterback in the NFC North, Mr. Matthew Stafford. He finished the year as the 14th best quarterback, according to Fat Grade, with a 74.7. That was, he went down in his grade from 2016 by three points. Not really anything, any big uh, big of a difference. However, uh, he did have the best, his best quarterback rating out of his whole career. Uh, and I that was a product... I mean, that's a product by how much they throw behind the line of scrimmage. I mean, he did arrow ball out well here and there. But Matthew Stafford signed that big contract, and he came through Huge. for the Lions. I mean, he's, he's a solid quarterback. You draft him every year in fantasy, Mike. I feel like he's a good fan. Lately, he hasn't been, but he's been a good fantasy quarterback. He doesn't have he puts up, he I feel puts like he's up always at, like, 
10th, 11th quarterback drafted. That's like a fringe starter for most of yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. See, it, he'll see, get passed around like a dirty slut a couple times. You know, he does. I think we traded him like three times in our league. But, you know, he goes you wrong. You tried giving him away for pennies. I did. I tried. I think I tried to get Corey Davis. Pennies. Oh. Um, his consistency. Wow. Right? And this, is, and this is Stafford's problem. He's a, he's a gunslinger. Last year, he actually took a step back. I can, you can see the difference in what the Lions are trying to do. They're not trying to have him just gunsling anymore. And he took a step back as far as just, um, I think he was down on picks. But his consistency ranking was 16th best in the league, 53% volatility. Eh, you know, it wasn't that good. But he only threw, what was it, 10 interceptions, which was the same as 2016 as well. He was just, he seemed more careful with the ball. He wasn't chucking it downfield as much. And I just don't know if, if that's what they're going to be doing with him going forward. Uh, I mean, he doesn't really have any true deep threats. Uh, Mark, I mean, listen, their, their, their wide receivers are good. Kenny, Kenny Galladay, Galladay is really that deep threat, but he was injured. Mm-hmm. He seemed like he, he's, he's starting to become more of an average quarterback. I mean, I definitely would want him if I needed a quarterback on my team. I mean, there's other people I'd take ahead of him, of course. But if I had Matthew Stafford as my starting quarterback, I'd, I'd feel confident and fine with that. But he's definitely seeming more average as the years go on. I mean, Chase, you can attest to that. I mean, he just he just doesn't do anything for me. He's puts up great stats. His team's always nine and seven. He doesn't eight, really have the help. I feel seven and nine. He had yeah. Calvin Johnson, Mike. Well, okay, that was then. Yeah, I'm talking about now. Yeah, he de- he had Cal. Cap- but I feel like they've well, never he's really- never had a running game. What if they haven't had a hundred yard rusher in- since I was like six? Yeah. Legarrette. They got blunt they now. Get the Garrett, but yeah. yeah, no, I know. That's um, not moving the needle. Another thing too, this was the least amount of pass attempts he's had in his career. Uh, five hundred and sixty-five last year. Well, besides his rookie year and the year he got hurt. I feel like they try to run the ball more this year for sure. They did, but I, it just you know, it didn't work yeah. out. No, not really. They 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 could use another running back. I mean, I like Abdullah. Jim Caldwell, but you're on the hot seat. He is. All right, let's let's go to the next quarterback on the list. Unless anyone has anything else for Stafford. No, okay. Yeah. Your team. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you start. Actually, I'm forgetting the Bears. No. Well, we're gonna go we're gonna go in order of how they graded for fat stats grade. Okay? Trust me, the Bears. So, fair enough. Down the I, list. I will say Aaron Rodgers didn't qualify in our actual grades because he didn't play enough games. Uh. So basically, he's Brett Hundley is on the list here ahead of the Bears quarterback. But I'm gonna let you start off. Yeah, before we nerd it up, yeah, give us the your your inside input on uh, Hundley. Mr. Hundley, highly disappointed. I was. I, it's hard to describe how you watch a player for three years in preseason. Granted, it's preseason. And how he was just so ineffective. Even rushing the ball, he wasn't in, he wasn't great at, and passing was a disaster. Mm-hmm. Jordy Nelson couldn't get over thirty five yards receiving in any game. God bless him. He had he was, oh, he was just he was just not good, and I don't know if that's coaching. He didn't pick up our system, he, even though he's there for three years. I, I just I was just. Has he ever blocked. started a game before? He hasn't started a game in the regular season before, right? No, but he, when he was at UCLA, he was highly touted, and then he came back for his senior year, he dropped. But mm-hmm. we got him in the fourth. I thought he was going to be good. Like, I really did. I, th- I thought he would be a worthy backup. I was definitely surprised at his year this year, too. I, I mean, thought he would definitely play better. He was just, no, he, was, he didn't have it. I can't even say it. He was just there. Maybe he was nervous that he actually got a chance to play, and he just kind of skunked it up. He seems like a nice kid. He's got a nice smile. Says the right things, but I don't cut I, it on the football field. No, not in that stadium. Not for this team. All right. Well, let's nerd it up now. How about that? All right. So to back up uh, Chase's disgust, he was the twenty fourth <laughs> best quarterback according to our fat grades. Sixty five point four. He's really bad. Yeah. Uh, his true accuracy was seventeenth best in the NFL, which was actually a little bit better than Matt Stafford. Uh, well, 63.8%. Now, that was because... He didn't throw the ball past five yards. Correct. So he was the... He, 
the percentage, if we look at percentage of throws and where they were, out of all of Brett Hundley's pass attempts, almost 60% of them were at or behind the line of scrimmage. That's second in the NFL behind Deshaun Kaiser. What, what I really noticed about watching him play is he cannot lead a receiver for his life hmm. at all. It would either be behind them or just inaccurate. Yeah, he just looked unsure of himself behind the pocket. And I think that was, I don't know. I don't know if, the, if that's why the coaching staff had him throw it behind the line of scrimmage or if he was just checking down because he didn't have the confidence in throwing downfield. Consistency-wise, 22nd in the NFL. This doesn't really mean anything. He was He's just not consistent. He's just overall, it wasn't good. Um, I feel like we've talked enough about Brent Hundley, unless Jeez. you have anything. Well, one more thing. So you guys did get Deshaun Kaiser, right? We did. Okay. For a, a former first-round cornerback. Okay. Well, so are you upset about that? Well, I'm glad our GM's gone because he's had some misses the past couple years. So Was that his last doing before they left? I didn't. No, that was his second to last pick. Huh. Okay. Deshaun Kaiser, I actually like him better than Brett Huntley. I really do. I don't it know can't why. Be worse. Deshaun Kaiser's last in our fat grades, and I don't know why I like him. You like but him because he was a first round pick last year. Look, I he, don't. I hate first round. I don't like he, him. He was a rookie. Like he he was thrown into the fire. He he played like crap. Uh, so who would you rather have, Kaiser or Hundley? I mean, based off what you saw last year. Well, I didn't watch many Browns games. Fair enough. But, but we will say he was last in our grades. Well, we still have Brett Hundley on the roster, so it's gonna be. I guess it's you're probably gonna fight it out. It's gonna be an open QB competition until you guys backup. draft Mason Rudolph. So Aaron would not be happy. All right, so we're gonna speaking of Aaron, we're gonna skip Aaron for a second. Speaking of him, we're gonna <laughs> we're skip, gonna him. skip him for a second. See ya. We're gonna save him the save the I'm best out. for last. All right, we're gonna talk about uh, the Bears real quick. All right, so Bears fans, Mitch Trubisky. He was 28th in the NFL for infract, in our fact grades, a 59 grade. So Second worst. Second worst in the league behind who we just talked about. Your backup. Your, one, yeah, your third or second string backup, Kaiser. Anyway, 27th best in the league accuracy. He had a 58.3%. So he wasn't very accurate with the ball. And he was also 28th in the league consistency with 103%. Nerd talk. Nerd talk. So, okay. If you want to compare Kaiser and Trubisky, they're very close. In shittiness. In, in shittiness, yes. Very close. If you look, the most, the best thing I could say about Trubisky is when I look at his numbers, he's, the, he's consistent in how low he ranks in everything. I mean, he's right around that 27th, 28th worst now, let's be real. Could you name a Bears receiver from last year? Well, they had Kendall Wright, and he was released. And they had someone. Shaheen. I think Meredith Tight got end. hurt in preseason. Cameron Meredith. He got hurt in preseason, I think. And, and also, Kevin White, God bless his soul. Yeah, they really what didn't have anybody. To him? They really didn't have anybody. I think he'll play better next year, but he Me? needs some help. He can only go up. I mean, they do have Jordan Howard running the ball, so, I mean, come on. They have Tariq Cohen. And Cohen. Throw it to they got the Allen backfield. Robinson now. They did. Yes, they did get Allen Robinson, which will help out. They also got Tyler Gabriel, I believe. Yes. So they so added to their... he's got the deep ball. They added to their receiver They core. also got, what's his name, Trey Burton, didn't they? I can find out. Tight end? I can yeah. Find out I'm pretty right. sure they got Trey Burton, who everybody's touting about. You only because know him because he played for the Eagles. When That's Zach cool. Hurts. Yeah, but when Zach Hurts they went out... They did get Trey Burton. Trey Burton stepped up and killed it from a fantasy standpoint, which means obviously I mean, he killed it in pros. For people who do not know, what real position does he play? Tight end. Okay. Um, so, I mean, he's got the weapons. You can't doubt that he doesn't have the weapons this year. So we'll see. You have a take on have Trubisky. They a high pick, right? Huh? Yeah, no, they traded their pick. That's why they don't have a first-round pick. Um, Is that right? I don't think they do. So... What do you, the Browns have it? Where do you think, in terms of? Let's do. Let's do in terms. No, of the fat, Bears pick at eight. Oh, let's do it in terms of fat grade. Expert. What do you think Trubisky finishes? Like, do you think he's going to be what third best quarterback next year? 
Well, like, do you think he'll improve? He's gonna make a jump. A big jump. Well, that's the, the jump is the jump. He, I mean, they always say quarterback gets better from his first to second year, the most, the most improvement. But I, I like you guys said, I, I just didn't see it from him last year. Mm-mm. Nothing. He was just, and I follow these guys on Twitter who break down the film, and they say, oh, he's got a lot of talent. He's got a lot of big arm, can move. He's mobile. I don't. Know. I don't think his decision making is that great. Look, it was his rookie year. I mean, you got to give him time to play, play out. But you said he might. You asking him if it would be third in the division? Is that what you're yeah. saying? Okay, so you have your boy Aaron Rodgers, who I assume you think will be first in the division. Oh, he'll be last in our division. Okay, that's not even like there's Aaron, Kirk, Matthew, and then him. Fair enough. Yeah. I agree. No, 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 that's not even. I agree. That's not a question. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Aaron. Let's. Chase, what, who is he going to throw to next year? Do you believe in Devontae Adams and Randall Cobb enough to be the Aaron Rodgers that throws 30-plus touchdowns? 35-plus. Well, I just want to say he's a bad man. I always wanted to say that. But he's gonna get his thirty. I mean, who's gonna did get? You say him? Jimmy Graham? No, I didn't say Still, him because he might not play a full season. What is that from? He played a whole season last year. Yeah, which right. is the first time in his life. He's still <laughs> an uh, elite, elite uh, red zone threat. Like, no, I didn't say tight end. Okay. He's got to be like forty-five you did. You, years you, old. You shook me with the red zone threat one right there. Well, since we're on Jimmy Graham, uh, he was at our OTAs the other day, and a reporter asked him. You know, what do you got left? And he goes, I'm still 6'7". I still run a 4'5". All right, fair enough. So, I mean... I love the Jimmy Graham to the to the Packers. I love, I love that. No, I, I do too, but... What I love most about that is that Aaron Rodgers, statistically, besides your boy Marcus Mariota, is the greatest red zone quarterback of all time. Aaron Rodgers never uses the tight end. Where does Jimmy Graham excel? Well, he's going to line up in receiver spots. Okay. He excels in the red zone. Mm -hmm. Match made in heaven. It's a great fit. I I agree. You're drafting him high. Yeah, yeah. Draft accordingly. He's going to get 10, 12 touchdowns. Someone's got to get him. So Chase is reaching on him in fantasy. Well, think about it like this. If Aaron Rodgers is going to throw 35 touchdowns, they got to go to someone. If he's healthy. Right? Some will go. I don't even know how you guys are going to use Ty Montgomery, if he's going to be your lead back. I don't know if he's a running back still. You have some weapons, I guess. Still, I'm just. You don't have. We still need a receiver. You need someone to take the top off. Yes. And our the guy that's supposed to do that, this Tyrell Davis, making bomb threats at LAX the other day, getting arrested. So. That is not looking good. No, get him off my team. All right, well, let's nerd it real quick. Go ahead, okay, Mike. so Shoot. Hit me with your nerd stats. Aaron Rodgers didn't qualify in our fat grades because he didn't play enough games. Unfortunately, got hurt. And you got two 2016 data. Well, we do, but let's we're, hear it. We're going based off. Bob will pull that up in a second. I'm gonna go based off last year. Okay. He finished in six games in 81.8, which would have been sixth best in the NFL. Top six quarterback? Not. Okay. He was second behind Breeze in accuracy with 70.1%. Very accurate. And he was consistent. Fifth best with 32%. Okay. And so, based, you were talking about last year or two I years ago. I got some stats for you. Okay. I got uh, one second. In, in two years ago, though, you said Aaron Rodgers was ranked what in fat grade? Number one. Numero uno. Number one. I actually, I actually saw a, a, a kind of a kind of a side note. I saw a report today on my, on my phone somewhere. I don't remember where it was, but it said uh, teams are are fearing that Rodgers is going to be better than ever. No, oh, he's definitely pissed off. I'll so, say that. Better than ever. The bad man. And this contract talk is. Really overblown. He's going to get his money. We're going to pay him. He's at OTAs. He was there mm-hmm. the other day. 
He's not boy. He's not holding out. He's not demanding a new contract right now. What was your What was your stat? Well, you were saying he's number one in. Uh, well, he was number six this previous year in yes. five games. Yes. So uh, us non nerds, I use regular NFL quarterback rating. He's first all time. Career or for the Career. Se- okay. One hundred three four. He also has season two, one twenty two. He had the highest season one. Yeah, that was back like two thousand. I think that was a year after we won the Super Bowl, fifteen and one. My favorite Aaron Rodgers stat, though, lowest career pass interception percentage, one point six percent. His touchdown to interception ratio is insane. We were reading a stat earlier that uh, at his current rate, it would take him to two thousand forty nine to catch Brett Favre for interceptions, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Wow, I'll be forty something. I'll be fucking in a casket. 40-something. I'll be 47. 50-something. No, nah, it's 20 years from now, right? That's 30 no, that's years 49 from 49 from 2000. We're not in 2022? Bro, oh, bro we're like 30 years away. All right, so I'll be 50-something. Whatever. <laughs> Give or take. Um, I mean, those are my two big ones. Passer, highest passer rating career, lowest INT. So I feel like you're you're trying to start a debate here as to who is the GOAT quarterback in the NFL. Tom. Oh. For a career. Ah. I separate career and talent. So you're saying Tom's career is better than Aaron Rodgers, which I can agree. There's a lot of Aaron, things in football that... There's a lot of factors, you're right. Different. He's got the GOAT coach. Okay, so but you're saying Aaron Rodgers is the better quarterback talent. Yeah. I, I My can, quarterback I has been keeping people employed when they shouldn't be employed, like our GM and our coach, God bless you. He was a high school coach. He was a nobody until he got here, Mike McCarthy. Oh, I thought you were talking about Joe Philbin. Ugh, we got him back as our OC. He's best, best year ever. So He's do a you, puppet. Do you think Jordy Nelson's departure, rest in peace for you, will affect Aaron that much? I mean, he was while Aaron was playing last year. He he was effective in the red zone, but he's a thirty. Well, he's gonna be thirty-four. White receiver. I mean, oh, what? oh, hey, it was time to move on. I hear you. I hear you. I mean, you. I love Jordy. I have his jer- his I, jersey, but it was time. I don't know. Listen, I always stay clear of Jordy. This is fantasy talk, but I always stay clear of Jordy because I didn't trust his his health. <laughs> He's a touchdown machine. He is. Even yardage, though. He always got his yardage. Not last year. All right. Anything else on any of these quarterbacks? Just look out. Four? Mitchell Jabisky? AR-12 this year. AR-12. AR-12. Anything else? Um, no. No. Go ahead, Mike. Well, I was just going to say, what is, what is your your rankings? How, how are they going to fare next year? Quarterbacks? Standing, not just stand, team wise, standing wise. Like teams, okay. Well, I'm gonna be a homer, and go us number one. Okay. Even though the critics will say the Vikings are gonna be the team to beat. Do you think one or two teams make the playoffs? Two or three or could be three, but I see two. Us and the Vikings. Okay, so you say you guys, the Vikings, and then Lions, Bears. Lions will do their usual eight and eight. Uh, they're, they're fighting for a playoff spot, and then Matt Stafford will throw a devastating pick six Damn. against Gosh. Dallas, and they'll be out. Okay. And the and Bears will be like 5-11. and 11. Okay. Hmm. No faith in the new weapons. I can't even name Trubisky. the Bears coach. I know he came from Kansas City, I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't know his name either. Oh, yeah, it's the, um, don't know his name. All right, my my personal opinion, I agree with Chase. Uh, Packers, Vikings. Matt Nagy. Mm. There it is. Uh, yeah, you don't believe in the Lions, coach, Did to get it done? Up? No. Oh yes. Huh? No. Who is the the Patriots coach? Just. Oh. Uh, oh, they don't have that. Yeah. The, yeah, you still call those on the hot seat. The I didn't even catch pencil it. Pencil guy. You got fucking the pencil guy with the Matt beard. Matt Patricia. Patricia. Thank you. Yeah, Jesus. well, this is that was this, my mistake. This is outdated here. What do you want me to do? Check your source, Mike. Get off Wikipedia. It's Google. That was my fault. I said it. So, 
Uh, good thing you didn't call Google to have pencil have guy, huh? Pencil pusher. Top. Pencil pusher. Did he shave his beard? He did for the for the press conference, I think. GG. Vikings Packers uh, playoffs. Both of them. Yes. I think we'll be. Those will be the two teams, and the Eagles, I guess, and the Rams. Okay, if there's four teams I'm looking at in the NFC. So you're pretty much Saints. You forgot about the Saints. Yeah. So Their defense is nasty. You pretty mu- pushing forty. You pretty much agree with him, standing wise. Yeah. I'm well, gonna go on a limb here. All right. Here it is. Here we go. I got. He the loves Lions. his Trubisky. You won't. I think the Vikings finish first. Fair. Then the Packers. What's the hot take? The hot take. You have the Lions last. Yes. I'm gonna go Bears third. I, just, I just, just it. to change it up. Honestly, I, I did want to put Packers first, but I feel like I feel like it's gonna be really, really close. You might, you guys might have like the same record, honestly. But I'm gonna put Vikings first, Packers, and then I'm just gonna throw the Bears in there, and then Lions last. I don't know why. I just want to say I didn't say this earlier. My gut feeling. I said I, I like Kirk. I do like him. My gut tells me. That he's gonna come in and just struggle year one. There's a, that's the NFL. There's always that team that. And I'll tell you. See, I I, my, I have a hard time picking against Aaron Rodgers. I feel like they're gonna be first. I know. Well, my gut tells me the Vikings. I mean, you got Vikings defense and their weapon. I mean, that's they're gonna be good. That's a good point because my team that I'm predicting that's gonna struggle is the Rams. I don't think they're gonna be this world beating team. I think they'll come down a little bit. They, they yeah yeah. I mean they're they're on a huge they were on a huge high last year. Yeah. They, they won't be that. I think Saints will be right back in it. Eagles will be good. I agree. Agree. Eagles will be good. Yeah. But there's one thing we can count on. Aaron Rodgers will have his revenge. MVP? Yes. Oof. Look at 2011, 2014, 2018, 19. Will you bet money to Vegas odds that he would win? Um. Well, he's the betting favorite, I, I believe. Is he the betting favorite? Yeah. Oof. I don't like those odds. Oof. If they're still good odds, he's no. just the betting favorite. I don't. I the like to put my money though? on. Well, who else are you gonna pick? Cinderellas. Tom I mean, Brady. Yeah. Forty-two. Fucking Tom Brady. It's Tom Brady. Yeah. We love you, Tom. I I like I like Aaron Rodgers' MVP statement, but we'll see. Well, we'll bet ten on it. Recorded. Kyle, who wins the NFC North? I don't care. Kyle He's said Packers. He's going to say Packers. Yeah. Thanks, Kyle. No, it's, it's Aaron all day, baby. The GOAT. All right. Thanks. Deuces. See ya. Wait. Damn it. What's wrong? I forgot to say fat stats. Oh, go. It's not done recording. You hit the space bar, didn't no. you? Fat stats. Fat stats. Fat stats. Fat stats. Fat stats.